Hey everyone, Lancelot Archer here. So today's Friday, which means you know what day it is. It's Sir Day today. So he is in the Tower North, next to the speaker at the very end of the platform. So let's see what he's got this week. Okay, so he has a Legacy Engram for the helmet. Next he has the Helm of Saint-14 for the Titan. So this is a Intellect Strength roll at 58.63 max. So this helmet blinds enemies inside your Ward of Dawn. So this is obviously a running Defender Titan. If you put your bubble up, this will obviously make all opponents they go through it essentially have the flashbang effect. So essentially you'll get a white screen and you won't see where you're going. So that's the uh, this Titan's special ability. Next we have the Radiant Dance Machines. This is the legged uh, armor for the Hunters. This is a Intellect Discipline roll. So max 70 for Intellect, max 74 for Discipline. So this one is you move more quickly while aiming your weapon. Um, so that's for the Hunter. I haven't really seen many people use this that much in the Crucible. Um, but technically you can just use the Mida and it helps you move faster as well. Um, but yeah, that's this one. Uh, the next one along is the Skull of Daya Ahamkara. This is for the Warlock. This is running a purely strength roll, max at 101. So the perk for this one is take reduced damage while using Nova Bomb, improved energy drain abilities. Um, yeah, I mean, I have this as well. I don't really use this particular helmet as a Warlock, um, just because you can run other uh, exotics to help with your Warlock, uh, your Void abilities and so forth like the nothing manacles um, I use them over this or if I had to use the um, obsidian mine the helmet which grants you which allows you to build your nova bomb quicker I think you, you get your cooldown on it's quicker if you that helmet on as well so I mean there are other abilities to have on than this but you know if you're trying to run the warlock vampire build I believe that's the what they've dubbed it um, this does kinda help if I remember correctly how the build went but um, there are other videos around that tell you and explain more fully how the vampire build works. And then next along we have the weapon of the week, which is the invective. So this weapon regenerates ammo over time. So this is a shotgun obviously, obviously so with the, the Crucible right now being constantly shotguns, um, most people are running with the Matador or the Party Crasher. So, I mean, obviously if you had the invective, it's fine, you can use it, but there are other shotguns that are not exotics that won't take up your slots so you can obviously use your primary or heavy exotics in those slots instead um, but yeah so essentially this is the shotgun equivalent of the icebreaker you know the, the guns both reload ammo over time but um, yeah I don't think they ever did anything to like nerf or buff this weapon but there you go it's the invective for you if they did they might have I might have completely forgotten if they had actually buff, uh, nerfed or buffed the, uh, the weapon Alright, let's see what else we got. After that we have the usual glass needles, three of coins, the heavy ammo synths and the drives and then here we have the material exchange. So this is it for this week. So unlike last week where we had a essentially 99% roll graviton forfeit helmet for the hunter, I don't actually think any of these rolls for this week are that good. Um, maybe the boots? That seems quite high. I wish I've seen higher though. Let me just double check on Dim. Bear with me one second. Nope, I stand corrected. Uh, that is not a good roll on it. Actually, none of it is actually a good roll this week. So, yeah, those are that for this week. So, last week was probably the best roll we've seen on stuff from Zoe in a while. But um, yeah, like always, if you haven't picked any of these up, pick these up. I mean, I would personally recommend picking up the Helm of Saint-14. Just because, obviously, if you run decide to run Defender Titan in the Crucible, this isn't a bad helmet to have. So, um, yeah, it's this one. Also prevents, obviously, shot guys running in. So if you've got, say, this bubble up, uh, say, this helmet on with the bubble on, and you've put it, the water, and you've put your, pull that shotgun with armor of, armor of light? No, weapons of light on. As soon as they walk through the door or walk through the bubble, they're obviously blinded. Shotgun them, they're down. Granted, you could do that anyway. But um, yeah, so this is the uh, this week for Zer. Personally, not a great week, but there we go. So I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care and have a great one. Bye.